Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today we are setting my September goals together. I usually do the weekly actions for the first week of the month, but today I'm just not feeling it. I'm going to do it tomorrow. So for this video, you're just going to get my monthly goals. However, I will link some past goal videos in the description for you along with my weekly actions video that I put up a couple weeks ago. So you can check out those if you are looking for that. So let's talk August. Um, I always do these videos in the same order. So I always do my monthly reflections first to kind of reflect on the previous month and see where I need to go and then I set my monthly goals and then I usually do the weekly actions but like I said I'm gonna do that on my own later okay so let's first talk about my August reflections so this was a tough month for me in quite a few ways and I struggled quite a bit especially in the area of health I've been trying to figure out what's going on with my body for months now, probably more like a year. I just know that there are some things that are wrong or need to be improved or fixed. And I'm trying to figure out exactly what those are and what I need to do. And I got a lot of answers at the kind of the end of August. So that's good, but still struggles all along the way and still more to come, but I feel a little bit better about those things. Anyway, let's get into specifically what were my wins for this month. They are, we had a good start to the school year, really good start. I mean, all things considered, I have to give that little caveat, but all things considered, pretty good start. Um, a lot of personal growth happening with me um, under pressure in some different areas and I feel like I really have grown in some really personal areas which I'm not really going to get into but just like within myself me and my reactions to certain things just different and better also just forgiving myself for some of my physical issues some of them are things that I have done to myself some of them are related to the accident that I had back in January and some of them are things that I have ignored when I shouldn't have. And so I have been working really hard in the past two weeks or so of really consciously like saying, let's set this aside and just deal with what is happening right now. And so I still have some work in that area, but I feel like that was a win. Okay, things that are currently not working are currently working. My planning system is going great. I feel really comfortable in it. School's going great. My water intake is great. Skincare is good. And I stuck to my budget this month. Yes. Okay. Currently not working. My blood pressure and my diet. Um, but like I said, I've got some action steps from my doctors. Um, sleep. I think it's tied into these other things. Confidence is very low right now. Physically, like how I feel about myself physically and that's something that I definitely want to work on. Uh, my workouts lack intensity when it comes to strength or um, stamina, things like that. And then outside time, I need to get outside more. I just have, it's been really warm and I have used that as an excuse, but I need to suck it up and get that vitamin D and just, I know that being outside makes me feel better. So something I definitely want to highlight and work on next month. What I learned this month, my body is all connected, mental, physical, and emotional sides. So things that are happening physically are affecting me emotionally. Things that are affecting me emotionally and mentally are affecting me physically. It's all connected. And like, I know this, but that's something that like, I really, really learned this month. And then also routines are key to consistency. Improvements or adjustments. So diet, I have been talking a lot about intuitive eating and I still truly believe in that. But for right now, my doctors think that I need to do certain things and I need to listen to them and to do them. And then over time, lifestyle changes will come. And I mean, that's my hope. And um, then intuitive eating will be better. I don't know how, I'm, my mind is still wrapping around 
all the changes that I'm making, but like these are things that need to improve for sure. Also strength training needs to happen more. Um, that's something that my doctor said as well. And my stress level needs to come down. <laughs> and I need to diversify my reading. For the past month, I have just been reading a lot of fluffy fiction, which is great. It's fine. But I need to also read some other things too. Uh, what am I most grateful for? I know more information about what's going on with my body. Still have some questions and things that we're going to explore. But um, I do have a lot more information now, which is great. And I'm really grateful for my family. And habits I want to nurture. Intermittent fasting, which is one of those things that my doctor has prescribed for me. Um, also, my PM routine, helping with my sleep. I think that if I kind of fine-tune this, I think that will help. And then also my cleaning routine. I got a really good start on that in August. And I want to make it more of a habit in the next month. So overall rating a five. So I mean, not completely horrible, but also, you know, just middle of the road. That's where we're at. So for this page real quick, I just want to kind of make it look a little bit cuter. So I'm going to take, I think a nice cheery green would be good for this month. I did this last month too. And it really, like when I look back at this, it helps me see everything a little bit easier. So like that, that's kind of cute. Um, so let's do a little bit of green. And then what other color? This is really pretty. That might look nice. It's kind of the end of summer. So I like this color for that. All right, so I'm just gonna highlight um, the different parts so that they stand out a little more. All right, I messed that up, <laughs> but that's okay. It's fine. Um, let's go on to my monthly goals for September. So I am in my Moxie Life companion notebooks. I'm still loving these things so much, and I'm excited to use them for another month. So I think this is the last month in this particular quarterly book, and then we'll be in Q4, which is crazy. But um, let me go ahead and get my month um, names on here, and then we'll move into actually building my goals. So I'm thinking for my colors for this month, I will use these two. Yellow is always connected to um, August for me because it's like the color in the EC planners that I used for so long, and it's still in my teacher planner. And then I just thought that this purple would be a nice contrast. So this is the Zig Clean Color Dot Marker in the color Hyacinth, and then I've got my yellow, like golden yellow mild liner. All right, so let's go into my goals. Let's go, let me just rearrange a little bit so I can still see everything. All right, let's start with the personal section. Now this page here is in the big planner, but it's also in the companion notebooks. I just pulled this out because it is perforated. I pulled it out of the, um, like the yearly goals booklet. And I just kind of stick it in the back pocket of my planner for when I work on my weekly actions. So this is really nice to have for my monthly goals as well. So I'm going to have this here. I've also got my annual goals, which are housed in my big Moxie Life planner. I've mentioned that I have thought about maybe transferring these over into that booklet that I just mentioned, but they're already here and I can pull this out once a month when I need it. So let's start with personal and my yearly focus is self-care. I think that's a really good focus for this month. Um, because I feel like I need to give myself a little bit more self-love in all of the chaos of my life right now. And I think that if I can intentionally put in some things for that, like to help support that self-love. So let me, for my focus for this, um, month, maybe make that my focus, like self-love, because I feel like I just need a little bit more of that. 
Okay, so thinking about my goals that I want for this month. I've got a lot of options, but I don't want to do too much, especially this month with just everything going on um, and just a lot of responsibilities when it comes to all different areas of my life. Um, I think that I want to do, let me put in three here, but I may add a fourth. Let me just think for a second. Okay, so with personal, I think that working on my PM routine, making it more of a ritual will be like helpful for this month. Also, you know, I mentioned in my monthly um, reflections for August that I want to diversify my reading. So I still want to read some fiction, but maybe I can read some other different types of fiction. And then coming from my from last month's goals, I did a social media kind of limit, which is on here, right here. But I, I made it so that I didn't have my phone after 8.30 p.m. That worked out really well for me. And I want to do that again. And then I think just an intentional self-care night, like right here. Um, I think that would be helpful too. Planning is kind of on the back burner when it comes to like my channel and stuff. Because I'm kind of putting my energy, which is my uh, word of the year. I'm putting my energy into some other things right now. So I'm going to leave these for maybe next month or another month and just kind of focus on these guys. So I actually think that that is four. So let me add this and I will write them in. Okay, so one of the things that I like to do is keep a little tracker of things that are tangible. So for this one here, I'm going to do two little tick marks. And then for this one, I'm going to do four for four weeks. I think there's four weeks in this month. I don't really know. If I need to add another one, obviously I will. I don't feel like looking right now. <laughs> um, let me use this also just to kind of highlight the name of the month. All right, moving on to fun and recreation. <sighs> okay, so my yearly focus is new experiences. I don't need new experiences. I need to foster the things that make me feel good. Um, I don't know. I don't know what my focus needs to be. But I do know I want to have some outside time. I want to have some rest. And I want to go on a hike, which I didn't do last month and was, was on my list. And I just didn't make it happen. And I think I want to do that. Um, looking at this list here, um, you know the word rejuvenation is kind of jumping out at me. I think I need to make that my focus word. All right, so I'm pretty sure that was three things. So let me write them in real quick. Okay, I think the intentional rest time will be really good for me. So I've got a couple of things that need some trackers. All right, now on to work and learning. So let's flip this over. So I started my um, individual, like independent book study at school, which is here. Um, this will come up in September, so I can put that in. Content schedule, but it's gonna be just like loose. If I need to drop it onto two videos this month, I am willing to do that. Um, and I want to continue that, that crash course series. Um, yeah. Okay. So my focus, um, I think my focus should be contribution, possibly like this word is, I like to use these words for my focus areas. Um, but I think that contribution is good because the things that I just mentioned are contributing to either like my school or my planner community or, I mean, it's just, it's contributing. So let me do contributing. I want to continue my book study and the crash course series I've been watching on black American history, uh, content schedule and this. Okay. Replying to everyone's um, professional development. Okay, let me write those in. 
So the um, Crash Course series is every week. So I'm going to do that. Um, this is one, so I'll just leave that, but I want to work on my book study every week as well. And content schedule, that may be one or two times. I don't really know. Okay, next up for family and relationships. So my yearly focus is connect more. Um, let's see. I always choose connect as my monthly word too. So let me just use that. So I have a couple birthdays. I always like to put those in to my, um, my monthly goals. <laughs> I was lost track of my thoughts there for a second. Um, and I also want to send some happy mail to my sister. And then just as a general goal, that I like to do is like contact with my family. So let me put those in. So I've got the two birthdays and then contact with the family and some happy mail to my sister. Okay, so just adding to this one so that I have something to check off each week. Okay, let's go to health and wellness. So this is my big one. It's my yearly stretch goal, but it's also something that I'm really going to have to work on this month. Um, like I have mentioned, I do have some action steps and I'm going to include some of them in here. I'm definitely going to need two columns for this. So strength is already on here. Also stretching, I think would maybe be one that I could put in. Um, skincare could also be one that I just kind of continue. Um, sleep definitely needs to be there. This stuff is happening. Um, so this month, I'm actually going to be doing, well, it's going to be something that I do semi-long term. I don't know how many dots I need. But let's just go ahead and get the eating habits and the eating stuff um, figured out. So I need to do a low-carb diet. I don't love dieting. I'm kind of sick of dieting. But this is like something I have done before and it is manageable. It's nothing that I can't handle. The thing that I'm going to have to adjust to is the intermittent fasting. I don't know if I spelled that right. Um, but that is another thing that prescribed by my doctor. I've been trying it this week and it's just going to take some adjustment, but I can do that too. Okay, sleep is definitely something that I want to make a goal to improve. Um, I'm also going to log my blood pressure because my blood pressure is too high. My dad has high blood pressure. It's genetic. Um, he's very healthy. But it's showing up for me now. And I want to work on that so that I can avoid medication in the future. I definitely need to work on my strength training. I need to lower my stress levels. Um, the blood pressure is tied to that. I mean, it's, it's physical, but it's also like emotional or something. So I need to work on lowering my stress levels. And they gave me, my doctors gave me some uh, strategies for that. So I can break this one down each week and try some different things. Um, I think I'm just going to put in skincare as well, just so I stay diligent. My focus, mm, I mean, my yearly word is evolution. I know I should do my focus first, but I just had things on my mind that I wanted to put in here. So, um, I like the word evolution, but I think for right now, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why this one is so hard. I think because my emotions are tied to it right now and like, I just have some stress built around this. So I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to come back to it in a minute and revisit that. Okay, let's go on to spiritual and personal growth. 
So I have some ideas to kind of help with my kind of emotional stress. And one of them is this book that I was listening to a podcast and they recommended it. It's called By Yourself, The F*** Lilies. And it's written by a comedian who's been through a lot in her life. And I have started it. I'm like two chapters in. But I want to finish it this month. So I'm going to make that a goal is to finish this book. Um, it's really good so far. And the chapters are really short. And they have lots of good action steps in them. So I think that will be helpful. I want to continue the Daily Stoic podcast. Um, I have kind of given up on the book for now. But the podcast is short and it's just speaks to me. Um, I think journaling is also something I can put in here for getting out some of the stress and then memory keeping too, because that's important to me. Um, my focus, well, I'm just going to put growth because that's what I want to do. I want to grow. Okay. So let me put these in real quick. Okay. That feels good. Financial is pretty straightforward this month. Um, I do need to adjust my budget because we get like our salaries change in September of each year. Um, and I need to adjust my budget. I want to update weekly. That's always on here. Always, always. Um, I did this last month, so that's good. And also that month, that was last month. I already did that. Mm, I need to work on my savings. And those medical bills from my accident are coming in and taking it day by day. But I think the other thing is I want to do my donation because that's become kind of an important... I kind of toggle between these two categories with that one. But I want to put it here um, just because I want to put it there. I'm just going to add in some trackers here. So the Daily Stow Up podcast is daily. So I'm just going to put in a weekly tracker for that memory keeping as well. And then adjust, no, yeah, updating my budget here. I updated a couple times each week. Okay, focus for this month proactive. I think that's a, probably a pretty good word for me to use for this month. Um, but maybe just save since I mentioned that earlier. I want to kind of tighten things up a little bit. So that would be a good thing to focus on. Okay, physical environment. So my word for the year is comfort. And I think I want to use that word for this month. I think that works well. I have some things I need to do outside, which are um, yard work, of course, and then doing like a fall treatment of my grass. And then, oh, fall decor inside. So seasonal decor. Um, I also want to like deep clean my living room. I'm trying to do a different room each month and seeing how that works. And it worked really well last month. So I want to do that. And also just from my reflections, I want to work on my cleaning routine. So let's do comfort here because um, the fall decor kind of falls in with that along with the cleaning routine. And yeah, so I think I'm going to have five here. Okay, so that was deep clean my living room, treat my yard, yard work, cleaning routine, and fall decor. Okay, so let's go back up here and figure out my focus word for this month. Um, I don't know why it's, it's so hard right now. But what is my, okay, so evolution is my word. And maybe I just do change because I'm, I'm setting the groundwork for the evolution, hopefully. Yeah. So I think, let, let me just put changes. I think that's actually a pretty good word for um, this month. Okay, so let me put this back in here. Okay, so here are my monthly goals for September. I feel really comfortable with these. Um, it's 
a lot, but not a lot. A lot of them are things that I'm like continuing to work on. And then the things that I'm introducing, like this stuff is really going to be heavy. So the other things are going to help support them, if that makes sense. So like all this stuff is working toward helping this, hopefully. That's the goal anyway. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and got some ideas. If you have any questions, you can definitely ask me down in the comments below. I'm happy to have conversations down there. And check out my goal playlist and recent goal videos down in the description. Like this video if you liked it. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye!